guys welcome to my channel i know i've been meaning to do this video for a while but uh third trimester hasn't been good to me some days and i just haven't felt like doing anything so anyway i'm finally around to doing it and this is my hospital suitcase um and this is the baby's i thought i would use a suitcase because it just makes sense if I have to wheel it on my own and carry that on my own if Taylor can't be there it's a lot easier than having to carry like two bags and then I'll also have like a snack bag and it just makes a bit more sense um so first I will show you the baby's bag which is from River Island and it's very spacious I'll be honest, it's fit a, a lot of stuff in here. Um, this will do up, by the way. <laughs> I've just opened it already. Um, yeah, so let's just jump straight to it. The first thing I will show you is the baby's coming home coat, which is from Marks and Spencer's £12. Um, it is in size up to a month because I have been told that the estimated weight for the baby is like eight pound 10. And I know, well, every newborn one I've seen has gone up to like seven pound. And I want to take a coat for him and it'll be like, <laughs> won't get on him. And I don't know, it's my first baby. I don't know how true sizes are. So I just thought I'd just get one bigger, last longer anyway as well. So um, yeah, it's just, that material really soft it's like really thick inside and it's got cute little ears on there so yeah i love that um all the baby's outfits are nothing special they're all plain white baby bows plain white vests just plain white everything because if i had just come into the world and someone started trying to shove these cute outfits on me I'd rather be comfortable and I'd rather him feel comfortable and warm and that's all that matters. So you won't be finding anything <laughs> amazing in here. Um, so I packed everything in sandwich bags because I seen that pack on YouTube and I just thought it just makes so much sense. Um, the first one is a towel. Now I don't know if he will be having a bath in the hospital or because I hear they do bath him. They show you like how to bath them. Um, but I've also been told that they won't because of the umbilical cord. So I obviously don't know. So I'm bringing one just in case because I don't really want him to be in a hospital. Excuse me. In a hospital towel. His own. And everything in here, guys, has been washed as well. Just so that you know. Um, yeah this is just a towel that looks like that and it's really soft um got these from amazon it was two for 9.95 and i just thought i don't know how much towels actually are in store but i was on amazon anyway and i thought oh i may as well buy it two for nine pound can't go wrong i don't think i don't know if that's good yeah, to pack away later um, okay, because he has been estimated £8.10, um, sizes in baby clothes, I just, just stress me out. They literally stress me out because I'll pick up a newborn, um, baby grow and it'll be from like Asda and it'll be up to £7. And I'll buy a newborn one from like Tesco and it'll be up to £10 and I'm just like, I don't get it. But I have bought in this sandwich bag, it's two baby girls and two vests up to one month. And they're just the plain white ones, guys. And all the vests are long sleeve because obviously he'll be born in winter and he needs to be warm. So yeah, I'm not gonna really bring them up because it's literally just plain white. Um, in this one is first size and it's labelled one baby girl, one vest, one hat, one muslin and one bib. I don't know if you can see. 
Um, I will show you this one. Um, these bibs are from Fred and Flo and I think that's Tesco. Um, it's just literally plain white bib in newborn. Actually, I, I think they're all one size. Oh no, it's a newborn, newborn bib. Um, then it's just a plain white long sleeve vest, which is in this size. Yeah, there are these ones, this size. Um, just a plain white baby girl, nothing special. And then the muslins are the smaller ones, because I know you can get ones that are like, you can use as swaddles, but it's just the plain white ones. And these ones were from Amazon. It was like a pack of 20 for like five pounds. So I was like, I'm not missing out on that. So I know like, I've looked at swaddles, like pack of threes and they're like 12 pounds. And I'm just like, they're literally used to mop up sick. I'm not spending 12 pounds on three. So, yeah. Um, then in this one, He's a newborn and it's exactly the same as what it's um, in the third size bag. Uh, another newborn. Another first size. Um, and then I'm taking ex a bag that's labelled extras. So that's just an extra first size baby girl an extra first size vest, an extra newborn baby girl, an extra newborn vest, and two muslins. And I'll probably put an extra one or two, maybe one, um, up to a month vest and baby girl in here. And you might think that I've bought way too much, and I probably have, but I'm an overpacker for myself anyway. So the thought of me doing this was like, I couldn't just bring one of everything because my anxiety would be through the roof in case you like sick all over with this one like poos on the other one it's just i'd rather bring too much um, and in this one it's his swaddles um hats and mitts and show you these these are the little mitts which i don't think I don't think I'll really need because the baby girls I have have the folding mitts on the hands um, so I don't think I'll need them but I'm bringing them just in case because you never know and the matching hats which are newborn oh no they're one size and I just think that would probably fit me but I don't know I might have a big head <laughs> um and these are the swaddles and these are from little seeds which were gifted to me um so it's just that one with clouds and it's like so cute and the material is so soft as well and I'll probably take some pictures of him in these and just a grey and white stripe one then in this big one is his blankets and the first blanket is like a cellular I think it's called just plain white and it's quite big to be honest but I've got one that's a lot bigger, so like this was the smallest one. Um, yeah, so just like wrap him in, keep him warm while he's in the hospital. Then this one is the one I would put on his car seat when he's coming home. It's just really stretchy, really, really thick, knitted woolen, blue, baby blue colour, which I chose to be his car seat one because um, I had these bought for him for my baby shower 
um, is a woolen like bauble hair, which is so thick and just so warm. And the matching mittens, which I will put these on on him because it is really cold during winter. So, yep, that's them. Then in this bag are these little pine trees, which again, I don't know if I will use use them. Like if obviously I've got Dove body wash and then Dove lotion to go with it. And they absolutely smell stunning. But like I said, I don't know if he will have a bath while, while he's in there. Um. So I don't know if I will use these, but I'll bring them just in case. Um, this Navi Queen Titanium one, I've heard is really good. Oh, I've heard it's um, really, really good. And I don't know, obviously, if you'll need that when I'm in hospital, but just in case, I'm bringing it. And then I bought two dummies, which I don't know if I will even use because I don't know if he'll want a dummy <clears throat> or if he'll need one, but I bought them just in case. And these are the man ones, um, zero plus month, months. And what I loved about these is the box that they come in is a sterilizing box so you put a bit of water in and you put it in the microwave for three minutes and they sterilized so yeah i thought that was brilliant so, so, yeah, may as well bring them just in case if he's anything like me i had a dummy until i was six so, if he's anything like me you'll win. um then we have water wipes which is 99.9% .9 of water and a drop of fruit extract. In hospital, I feel they do want you or like you to use cotton wool and water, but I just thought I'm not going to be using that at home. So it just made sense that I just bought what I am going to use. And I think these are the next best thing. Um... Yeah, and I had these on Amazon. It was 20 in a, no, it wasn't 20 in a pack. It was 12 in a pack for like 16 pound, I think it was, or not close to that, but you can get them in packs um, in like Tesco's or Asda's, but they're like, I don't know how many's in there, but they're like 26 pound. So on Amazon, they're obviously a fairly bit cheaper. So yeah. And then just a pack of first size newborn mammy and nappies. And I'm taking the whole pack. I don't know if I'll be using them. There is 24 in there. Um, I don't think I'll go through 24 nappies. But I just found it made more sense to use the pack rather than take them out. And maybe I might pack short and it's just make them out instead. Yep, so that's everything in his bag. The things I need for his bag are two like knitted cardigans or maybe one knitted cardigan to just wear around the hospital if it's a bit cold. Because I expect it's going to be quite warm on the maternity wards and stuff like that. But um, just in case, I want to bring a cardigan. I can always wrap him up, I suppose, but... Yeah. So next is mine. I think I've got everything I need for myself. I think. If I don't, guys, can you just let me know? So there's two sides to this, and I don't know if you can see. But yeah, there's two sides to this. I'll start off with my toiletry side first. Do my little bits. And again, I've probably taken too much of everything, but hey So the first little 
bag that I have is for uh, my headbands, just in case I don't feel like having a bobble in, I can just push my hair out my face. Um, a scrunchie, um, a brush, and I will be taking a like normal bobbles just in case I feel like time I have with them. But yeah, that's my first uh, little bag. Then, um, in the second one, I have been meaning to rearrange some of these, I think. Maybe not, I don't know. But I know I bought way too much of these, packed way too much of these, the nipple pads. Um, these are just the, I think the Tesco's foam. Um, yeah, they're just plain white. I don't think they come in any colours anyway, but I know I packed too much of these. Um, but it doesn't take up much room, so I'm staying in there. Um, then, I don't know. Now, I didn't know how much of these to actually take. Because I heard you bleed, you like obviously bleed so much after birth, and I'm an absolute clean freak. So if you know I feel groggy, I just a shower, and like I feel groggy and I go to the toilet, like I'll probably always want to change um, my pad every time, even if it's like a little bit on there. But I bought these <laughs> huge. Um, adult nappies they're the always ones and they're really scented <sighs> really scented actually um i bought i bought the whole pack and like i said i don't know how long i'll be there if i need all of these i probably won't i'm gonna say i won't but like i, I actually don't know so yeah, there's a whole, whole bag of them. Hopefully I won't need more than that. Um, and I also, for myself, I do need to get um, just normal maternity pads. So I'll probably put one of them inside them nappies. <laughs> nappies. Um, to feel extra secure. Then it's my toiletry bag, which I have a Vaseline and I'll probably get a stick one as well because sometimes I know that can be a lot easier um, a tough brush for me and Taylor I literally got these from uh, Primark they're a pound for two um, travel size Max White Colgate and that was 90p and I picked that up in Primark as well um nipple cream this is the oh, i can't say this lansino 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 i'm gonna go with that um hba lansino for sore nipples and cracked skin and i hear this is like the best nipple cream out there that's what it looks like mm. then i got i've heard so many people rave about this and I just thought I'm gonna have to get it because I hate being in any sort of like irritated discomfort. And this just literally, um, it's for um, down below after you've given birth. So like when you need to go for a wee or like saying that was probably gonna burn. And obviously it's gonna be sore. I think it, if you can use it, if you've like had stitches, it's literally, it says spray directly onto the vulva and it just if it's for extra relief keep a bottle in the fridge and pour a little into the bath like you can use it in the hospital when you're coming home um it is quite pricey i think it was 24 pound um it's quite a decent sized bottle it's called spritz for your bits from my expert midwife and it's just i think what's it got in there witch hazel um 
tea tree, lavender, so it's like all the stuff that like that gets rid like it helps you relieve of an itching or soreness or anything like that. So that's probably gonna be my best friend, I'll be honest. Um then I got these, these are from Primark. Um and they are my um like in this box bottle is shower gel um and the shower gel that i've put in there is i think it's called sanex i think it's the one with like no fragrance or anything in it because midwives do say um try use um products for your skin with nothing in it no fragrance in it because so the baby can get used to your actual natural smell um shampoo conditioner and moisturizer like i don't know if i'm gonna wash my hair or not it depends how long i'm in there for really and how i feel um yeah it's just normal shampoo conditioner and then moisturizer which i'm probably gonna use to be honest so and that's just been put into all them been put into this big um like my after bit I want to say yeah let's go with after bit um in this zipper pocket here then I've got it's very tight a pair of flip flops and they were 90 pence in Primark um I hate putting my feet bare feet on floor that loads of people have walked on especially in showers so i bought these to like wear in the shower and like wear around so i don't feel like wearing socks or anything like that and i also bought a pair of just plain black slippers which are proper comfy i will be honest um they were from Primark again. I can't remember how much these were though. Not a lot. I'm gonna say like four pound, maybe five. Um, yeah, I don't know, cause I wanted to buy like kind of cheap ones, cause if I wear these around the hospital, that I can just throw away, cause obviously everything going on with COVID, I don't wanna be bringing Corona in my house, so I can just throw them away if need be. Um, then. Then in the next part, I bought off Amazon these little packing cubes, which have come in handy. Like, oh, separating my clothes so I know where, what's what and where's where. And what. So the first thing is a uh, black towel. Um, yeah, I don't want to really use a hospital towel. Like, I know everything's probably going to be clean there, but this, it's just me. Um, yeah, it's just plain back, got that from Primark. Uh, a couple of quid, not a lot. It's just plain black and it's quite big as well, so. Um, in next one, this is the biggest packing cube. Yeah, like I said, these are from Amazon. Sorry, I don't know that one. Um, yeah, they're from Amazon and they're called packing cubes, suitcase packing cubes. Um, and they've just come in handy, like, you know, for separating, like, what I'll need during birth, then what I'll need after birth, what I'm going home in, and yeah, it's easier. So, in this one is my pajamas and what I'll be wearing through labour. Um, okay, so. This is what I will probably be wearing through labour if I'm not going to want to just be in my underwear, which I probably will, but because I probably get warm. But if I do want to cover up, um, I got this and it's black because I thought 
I guess anything on it. I wouldn't really show that much. And this is in large um, because I don't want anything too tight on me in labour. Um, yeah. And I got a second one. Exactly the same in medium. So if after the baby I have a shower and I'm warm and I don't want to put trousers on and I got one a bit smaller. Uh, yeah. Um, then I got a pair of pyjamas just in case I do have to stay in for whatever reason. Um, and I want to be nice and comfy and warm. It's just a white vest with like little hearts and all these from Primark and plain black long leg trousers and I got these quite big I'll be honest because I just like get really thing just in case I get trousers that are too tight and it irritates say I have a c-section for whatever reason they irritate my seat my scars and I just rather be comfy and these are I'm showing this size 12 to 14 16 <laughs> I'm sure I got like an excessive size um yeah let's put them Side. Um, then the next one we have my going home outfit. So this is from it's a two piece like tracksuit lounge set. It's from Next. It's just plain black. Um, it's that kind of material. I don't know what you call it. Um, no, I don't know what you call it, but um, yeah, it's quite big, loose fitting, um, comes with the trousers and they're flared bottoms and the band is really stretchy and they're like the comfiest things ever. Um, so yeah, that's my coming home outfit so I can just reach for that and know exactly where it is. Um, and then in the last packing cube, I have my full brief sexy knickers, um, it's a pack of four, um, yeah, in size medium I got them, that's 12 to 14, uh, I got two packs of them, because you never know. Um, then I got, I'm not going to move these next socks, <laughs> they're in there anyway now, just plain black socks, they don't take up much room so I just thought, you know, may as well chuck them in, and then I've also got bed socks, fluffy socks, so my feet might get cold and I love wearing fluffy socks so, yeah, and that's it I think. And with the packing cubes, they come with like these laundry hutches. So I'll probably just put dirty washing, the baby's dirty washing, my dirty washing, Taylor's dirty washing. Oh, that's what's got to go in as well as Taylor's um, clothes, underwear clothes, and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I think. That's everything. And I know I gotta get more pads for myself and the baby's cardigans. And I think that is it. Um I think I'm set to go. Or oh, what I do need to get as well. Um I'm planning on breastfeeding, but if I hear your milk doesn't come in um it's like two or three days, I'm gonna buy ready made optimal um milk a box of milk and it comes with like sterilized lids and stuff it's like a pack of a box of like six bottles i'll probably put that in my case um just in case my milk doesn't come through and i don't want to obviously him i think a hospital will have milk but i'd rather take my own but um yeah other than that i think that's it and if there is anything else guys you think i should take or any advice you can give me just leave a comment below and I'll go through them then but um thank you all for watching and I hope this helped somebody um like all YouTube videos help me <laughs> that's why I've packed my bag like this but um please like 
comment and subscribe and share this video. Um, thank you so much for watching.